Hello, I'm the Review Reviewer. You review it, I review you. This is my partner, Mr. It. Welcome to another edition of Critical Reaction. And boy, do we have a doozy for you today. The changes to the auction scene of Pirates of the Caribbean. As many know by now, the classic Disney attraction has seen a number of changes recently. The most notable of which being changing the auction scene from selling off women, including the much coveted redhead, to said redhead selling off varying objects as a pirate. And naturally, the opinions on this are kind of split. Some welcome the change, even go so far as to say it's about time. Others are outraged by this change and feel that Disney should have left well enough alone. So today we'll be taking a look at both sides of the argument and say where we stand on the change. And yes, we have been watching some jerk with a camera and Trickster Bell's videos on the subject, and so should you. Me 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 me. Without further ado, let's get started. first big argument people make is that the original scene was historically accurate. And that's true, pirates kidnapped and sold women all the time. The counter argument is that the new scene is no less historically accurate. Not only were there female pirates, but many of them were notoriously powerful. And besides, even if it wasn't true to history, why would that be a problem? Disneyland is a fantasy. We don't need historical accuracy in this park, having it is just a garnish at best. And then there's also this point in Jerk's video. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if the ride was historically accurate, the slaves wouldn't all be white. Although you could argue that in this town there weren't any women of color to grab. Me, 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 me. Well, yeah, but there's also not enough evidence to say that it's not the case. The second argument is that the original scene lasted over 50 years without any apparent issue. However, there is the counter argument of if you couldn't get away with it today, why should it exist today? Now, on the one hand, this can serve as a nifty time capsule as to what was acceptable to depict at the time of this ride's creation, not to mention teaching us about actual piracy. But on the other hand, these parks were not meant to be time capsules. The big argument is the depiction of the pirates themselves. The fact that these are clearly bad guys and the acts here are wrong. However, in recent years, the perception of the pirate lifestyle has made a shift from pure villainy to a life of adventure, due in no small part to such Disney properties as the Pirates movies and any media that features them, Once Upon a Time, and Jake and the Neverland Pirates. And the inclusion of the poster boy for that, Captain Jack Sparrow, into the ride muddles the messages a little bit. However, there was something in Trickster Bell's video that got me thinking. The idea that Disney still shows that there are bad pirates. The elements that Disney plays up as desirable are sailing the seas, finding treasure, and a feeling of camaraderie. And the pirates that embrace the kidnap and ravage part are still bad guys. Even in the ride as it exists today, Jack is still living the more idealized elements of the pirate lifestyle. He's on an adventure looking for treasure. At no point does he participate in the more villainous acts that the other pirates are. In fact, those pirates are actively against him. But granted, that's just my interpretation, and I can very easily see how some, maybe even most, wouldn't see that. Overall, I think I have to side with the new version. If for no other reason than its only problem, quote unquote, is replacing the old one. Imagine if the original scene never existed and it was always the new scene. Would you still have any major issue with it? Well, that's our take anyway. I'm the Review Reviewer. Review it, I review you. 